So next I'm going to add my IK controls. So what I'm going to do is make another um, layer, display layer. So this one uh, just adds a layer and this one adds the selected. So let's grab my controllers and I'm just going to name this um, FK controls and I just want to um, Make those go away for a bit. Turn off my FK, and now I'm going to turn on my IK joint chain. And now I'm going to make my IK controller. Okay, so um, to do that, I'm going to go um, under rigging and skeleton, and I'm going to make a create an IK handle. So let's click on the option box, control shift click, and that's going to add the IK handle to my shelf. And I've already added it over here previously. Um, just wanted to show you where it's coming from. So I'm going to make an IK handle and I'm going to reset the tool. The default is a rotate plane solver and that's the one we want. So um, what you do is select the shoulder and then you come down to the hand and so now we've got us an IK handle. And the way this works is if I go to my move control now, so I'm going to select the handle. You notice that I'm, I'm dragging over the joints, but uh, the handle selects. That's because the handle has a higher uh, selection priority than skeletons do. So if I go like that, it's only going to select the handle, and then I can move it. So now you can see how the IK, IK handle moves. Okay, so I'm going to hit Z and put it back undo it, put it back in position. And what I'm also going to do is make a pull vector control. Now it's uh, important to know that you want to establish a bend angle um, when you're creating your joint chain um, because that's the way that the IK solver is going to work. It's going to um, favor that bend. So you always want to have a bit of a bend in it. Okay, but uh, I want to be able to make the um, pull vector twist. So to do that, I'm going to come in and I'm going to make a linear curve. Pull down the X to snap to grid. I'm just going to make like a little uh, triangle there. Okay, um, I'm going to take the pivot point and I'm going to snap it to the point on the arrow so I can hit the D key and then I can hold down V for point snap, I'll snap it right to the point, then hit D again and I can also hit insert and either insert or, insert or D toggles the uh, <clears throat> pivot point off and on. So now what I'm going to do is just take uh, my pull vector controller and I'm just going to position it um, behind the arm. And now what I'm going to do is um, do a pull vector control uh, constraint. And so that's under rigging, uh, constraint, and at a pull vector. Okay, it's so on a middle mouse drag and just throw that down to the end there. And so the way that works is you have the controller and I want to 
freeze the transforms. Always, always, always. Except for when you're making uh, null groups. And I'm going to turn on the uh, bind skeleton here because there's something I want you to see. Okay, so I've got this selected. So now I'm going to select the IK handle. That's down here. Select the IK handle, and then I go to the pole vector constraint. Let's click on Apply. Now, um, I'll go back to the and check that. Now you can see that uh, there was some movement here with my joint chain. And the reason behind that was that uh, the when I put the IK handle on, um, it was a little off-centered from the very back. And so what's happening with the uh, pole vector is it's pointing down to this uh, the angle where this controller is at, um, which is kind of changing the angle of the twist, which is um, causing this uh, controller to sort of jump a little bit. So we don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to hit Z a few times and undo that constraint. And I'll know it's undone when this goes back to zero. So what I need to do is find the plane that this arm is on um, to make a more accurate pull vector. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to go to my modeling window and under mesh tools, um, I'm going to go to create polygon. So let's add that to the shelf and I'm also going to go to the multi-cut tool. I'll add that to the shelf as well. And uh, I'll probably Move these down here. Do not the middle mouse button. Okay, so I'm going to create a polygon, and you can point snap to joints um, as if they were vertices on geometry. So hold down the V key, or you just click on that button up there, and I'm going to make a. Um, a triangle polygon and I'm going to start here, go here, and then there, and then hit enter. Now I did this in a counterclockwise motion and you want to do that so that you can see the face. Otherwise if you go uh, clockwise it'll wind up either black or um, <clears throat> uh, maybe not even visible. So uh, point snap all three joints, and so now I've got this um, triangle. And I want to just find the plane that that uh, sits on. So I'm going to go to the cut tool. I'm going to start here on this point. Then I'm going to come over here to this edge. And I'm just going to make a little cut there. Hit enter. Uh, hit Q to get out of that tool. So now I've got an edge here on my polygon that I just made. So now I'm going to go and make a uh, another NURBS curve. It's going to be linear. So I'll hold down the point snap again. That's V. And I'm going to click this point and click that point. And so now I've got a uh, NURBS curve down here. It's curve two. And so if I click on um, R, and um, I want to scale it, but uh, 
what I'm going to do is center the pivot first. So let's do that. Okay. And so I'm going to scale this, and it's just going to scale that that edge. It's going to scale the length. Okay. So now I've got a um, an edge that is um, parallel to the normal of uh, this polygon. So then I can come in here and take my W. I can grab my, oh, and I'm in component mode. I need to right click and go to object mode, F8. So now what I'm gonna do is just snap this to this curve. So to do that, I can hold down the C key, snap to curve, middle mouse drag it, and just get it right up there in the, um, in the neighborhood, and then release the middle mouse button, and then middle mouse drag again, and so now it's sliding along that curve. So I'm just gonna leave it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna freeze the transforms on my pull vector con control. Now I can delete this curve, I can delete um, the polygon. And so now I've got a pull vector control that's um, directly in line with my joint chain. So now I'll control click on the IK handle, pull vector constraint, apply. And so this time, um, I didn't get the uh, bounce in the joint chain. Um, it's staying completely straight, and it's aligned right where I want. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> last thing I'm going to do here is. Um, Add a controller for the hand. So let's make another circle, create. And this one, I'll maybe scale it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to control vertices. I think what I'll do is just maybe grab, um, holding down the shift key, just grab the edges here. W, just kind of give this a uh, <clears throat> little different shape. This time, this may be the very edges here. So just a little shape here to this one. Uh, right click, go back to object mode. And I'm going to uh, select the joint. Just select the hand controller. And let's point, and orient, constrain the controller. Uh, let's delete the constraints. And while well, I'm at it, I should name this. I'm going to call this uh, hand IK control. And I should have renamed this to um, L underscore arm underscore um, PVC for pole vector control. And I should put in um, L underscore for that too. Always name your, your stuff correctly. And um, I'm going to do the same null trick um, with that. So let's make a null group. Control G. And I'm going to steal that name. Copy. And null. Oh, 
called that left hand icanal. And the same thing as we did previously, um, using the control key to select that. Apply, apply. Delete the constraints. And then let's parent the uh, controller under the uh, null. And with the controller, let's uh, freeze the transforms. And let's also delete the history, because I uh, messed around with the shape there. So create history. That's uh, edit. Delete by type history. I've got a button for it up here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the controller and then I'm going to grab the IK handle and I'm going to point constrain the IK handle to the controller. So now if I move the handle, or the controller, the IK handle uh, follows it. And um, another thing we can do here is then grab the, uh, the joint. So grab the controller, and then we'll grab the hand joint, and we're going to orient constrain that to the controller. So now if I rotate the controller, it's going to rotate the hand. And if I move it, it's going to move the IK. It's sort of a two for one control. So uh, I'm going to do all that. All the movements anyway. And so that's the IK.